Mm, it's nice to you. You live by the gun, you gon' die by the gun. Ain't no handouts for nobody. When they have shit, they ain't offer me nothing. When I'm quiet, I be thinking about killers. A lot of nigga bitch may stay in they feelings. Saving these hoes, this shit here proof. I hope these little bit of bitch my chillers. Woo. And mama, don't worry, you raised a gangster, I'm a survivor. It hurt me, not being able to give you what you want since I was a toddler. Shout out to my pops for all the free game. Everything you ever told me, it's stuck in my brain. Real OG status and like to make a change. Shed tears rain, this is so much pain. All the shite, the shit that I've done, blessed not being no chains. Uncle killed me when I was young, mom blessed the boy with the cocaine. Growing up, I ain't have no daddy. My mama played both roles. Been hard on a nigga since I came out the womb. Yeah, the pussy hole. I was taught to trust none. Face your problem, never run. Little bitch, holler, she pregnant. You a little net net, that ain't my son. Tryna trap me, know I had a glove. Fuck them feelings, slack. I'm a thug. You a little dusty hoe, yeah, the rug. Ayy, and it's still fuck love. 2 a.m., the night's still young. You live by the gun, you gon' die by the gun. Ain't no handouts for nobody. When they have shit, they ain't offer me nothing. When I'm quiet, I be thinking about killers. A lot of nigga bitch may stay in they feelings. Behind bars charged with murder. WRG's Mike Siriani spoke with the victim's grandmother who witnessed that shooting. He was a real soft-hearted person. He did whatever he could to help anybody. He was a really nice person. Mary Ann Strong is the grandmother of 40-year-old Marcus Wheatley, gunned down Wednesday behind his mobile home where he was a barber. Strong says she saw Kadarius Pride, a.k.a. Superstar Pride, the man charged with Wheatley's death, enter the mobile home, heard loud voices, and saw an armed Pride chase her grandson out of the mobile home. And the young man was following him, shooting at him. And he finally shot him down. Strong ran to this field, and she watched in horror as Pride continued to fire at her grandson. He fell here. He shot about three times after he fell. And he walked over to me, and he pointed the gun at me and asked me if I was going to tell it. She says she had no idea what Pride meant, but she says he wasn't finished. And he came back out here and by the last shot in his head. She says Pride left in his red pickup truck, later found abandoned in Pope, Mississippi. He later turned himself in to the Panola County Sheriff's Office. Pride's father could offer no reason for what his son allegedly did. You know, it's still just something that's got to be looked into and um, to see what, you know, what all transpired. You know, as of now, it's just so early. But Mary Ann Strong believes the shooting resulted from Wheatley's refusal to take part in one of Pride's music videos in California. He wanted Marcus to follow him, and Marcus couldn't do it. He couldn't help him make more money. In Panola County, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Yo, 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 what's up, bad bye, Super 2? Welcome back to the video for this Wednesday, um, Wednesday end of y'all, man. Okay, I probably did my latest on what I say on what I'm taking rappers can read my channel. Okay, the video I'm talking about, you know, the rapper, Superstar Pride. Okay, it's a rapper, you know, I I, I said know about a song called Paint Pictures and how he's a dude, you know, that he got himself, you know, locked up for murder and how his uncle Rear had been derailed, you know, for him being charged, you know, with type of crime. And, um, uh, okay, the video I'm talking about, I guess his own life as a rapper, how he got. You know, got himself arrested for the you know murder of his barber man. You know, I said back around the year of twenty twenty three, so he got charged. You know, with the murder, how he's he's in jail. So, so here, man. Okay, Kadarius Pride, you know, as um Superstar Pride. You know, uh, he was born in um March fifteenth, two thousand two, in uh, in, you know, a top of a top of small area in um Bentonville, Mississippi. So he was raised in um Sardin, Mississippi, and he attended um North Pennsylvania High School. So he started rapping um when he was in college and how he you know rose to fame you know by a song called Pain Pictures and um. And so I think his single you know came I think viral though the internet to with you know, um, so I probably said the whole song I said it became viral I said the whole YouTube you know I think on uh, Instagram and uh, you know the whole um. You know, I said, make the platform and stuff, and, uh, 
And but I still feel like his uncle real, you know, started to go further on how he started, you know, rapping um how he started, you know, make, you know, himself, you know, uh you know, I try to get hit a type of buzz in the hometown, but and so I do feel like his hometown, I guess supporting him as a rapper, so I guess he got a lot of buzz, you know, from song called um Paint Pictures and um so he also, you know, you know, I said by him, I think having a, you know, bad haircut, man, or so he been, you know, you know, by people knowing him, you know, as a dude, they have a type of, in top of, I think, with haircut, you know, to what he been joked on, you know, about his own, at the haircut, you know, but, so his dude, you know, they, you know, I say he very, you know, went known by his song, song called, called The Paint Pictures and um, how the song came with known. Okay, back around, okay, this is a tragic, tragic real, right man, you know, okay, back around, um, I said back around July 24th or July 23, the rapper, I said he has been risked for murder, how he shot and killed his barber, man, Marcus Wheatley, man, okay, Marcus Wheatley is his barber, until uh, we supposed to, like, you know, I think help him, I think it's on Uncle Rear, until uh, I see news to where, you know, the grandma had their type of news, you know, uh, Talking about her grandson, you know, been shot to death. Okay, that type of beef, uh, okay, the whole story goes to where, you know, this type of like argument outside the house to where the rapper, you know, got a gun and he, he, he you know, until we shot him down, until we shot the dude and chased him down, you know, in the woods and, and how he shot him a couple of times in the, in the face or either on somewhere in the um, face. But I feel like the dude, so surprised he got himself, you know, arrested for the crime and how he got child with, child with murder. Okay, the whole uh incident involving uh, I think it's um yes and there's to where, you know, the whole incident is you know, uh kind of involving I think the grandma told the news saying that, you know, the reason why he shot and killed the barber because he didn't want him to be in the music video or I think he did, you know, uh so I feel like that, you know, the whole uh incident is involving money. So I guess he didn't, you know, when I put in type money to the rapper no more. You know, I feel like he didn't want to go to California with him, but, and so I do feel like the whole beef is about, you know, how to do, you know, the barber, they don't want to go to California, you know, for you with the rapper, because he got, you know, a type of single coming out, and, um, and, but I feel like that, why would you kill your own barber for over him, now I want to go with you, for real, man, I don't know why, man, I feel like the rapper had crashed out, man, shot and killed the barber, man, over some pal, man, you know, went bad, but I do feel like the rapper, so it's a pride. I still got himself, you know, locked up in jail, you know, and how and how he faced the March charge, you know, how March charge can't be life prison, man. But so I so I do feel the rapper had lost his freedom, his own talent, man, everything to do, you know, the, the rap buffet, the rapper had did his thing, and now he's in jail for it, man, you know, for murder, man. But so I do feel like that. Why would you would try and take out, you know, this, you know, I said this man who had. You know, got a type of like, uh, you know, uh, I said life going as a barber going how he did now, man. But I don't know. I feel like dude had crashed out, man. Shot and killed the barber. You know, over some, you know, argument, be all, you know, be over anything, money, and how he, I, I don't know. I guess Uncle Real had with the rail to how on. Um, so I feel like his Uncle Real, you know, kind of went, you know, went downhill, man. After that, man. But so I do feel like that, you know, the single called Paint Pictures. It's it's uh I don't know I feel like this song it's kind of of a type of hit uh type of hit single though, so I call him a type of uh, I think a one hit wonder man, so I think it's a uh I don't know I feel like he's a one hit wonder that had lost his own freedom man by him being a dude, you know that crashed out on the um dude shot him death man shot him a couple times and how the dude he did, but I feel like that why would you you know lose your uncle real by you being mad over, you know over the dude you know don't want to go with you. You know, California, or to put like money into you in a way, man. But so after do, uh, you know, I don't know if I do. So that prior had lots of freedom, you know. In the I've been crashing out, man. So he took a, 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 a um, no, a life, you know, from the earth and how he shot to do, you know, do a couple times and um. I got some new to where you know, I think he chased him down. How he shot him, shot him in the woods somewhere, you know, uh. You know, I saw him in Mississippi, so, uh, and, um, but I feel like, you know, the grandma told her news saying that, you know, he chased him down and shot him, and, and um, so I think he put a gun out on the grandma too, man, saying that, you know, if, you know, don't tell nobody, man, I guess he's trying to warn 
basically grandmama on that, you know, on that tenant, you know, anybody about I think we did. So I guess put a gun out of the ground, you know, you know um, I, I guess I heard, I done um, but I don't know. I feel like dude need to be put in prison, man, for real, man, on how I took a life, man. But I feel like, why would you shoot the dude, you know, and then put a gun out on the grandma before? I don't know why, man. He just, I kind of feel like he would, like, you know, take a life, man, how he would not, you know, I said, because of the crime. So I think he drove away from this, um, you know, and, and uh, I said, crime scene to where he was, in, uh, I guess, out of his car. I don't how you know, how do, do, kind of ran on foot and how he ran from this, um, you know, from this, um, you know, the crime scene, but so I do feel like that you know why would you do would shoot the dude for knowing that he's a dude that would lost his career, man. But so I feel like he lost his uncle rear and how he's in jail for the murder, man. So he might not get out, man. But so I don't know. I guess it's called you know I don't know. I guess come to fame life, you know, the fame could be you know deal with a lot of problems and a lot of hardships and stuff, man. So but so I possibly to do 